Calling up the youthful members of the Braves who are producing here. Uh, the young players feeling any pressure? I know it's still late May, but they're not acting like it's affecting them. Super Swish, it must be good to be young and that talented. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I'm right? These guys are super, superior talented, and they're just getting better. They're having fun again. I'm worried about uh, the state of baseball, to be honest, because I... If these young kids continue to impress like this, coming up, hitting home runs, doing so much on the field, what's going to happen to the veteran players in, say, five years from now? Well, I think this, when I'm looking at this, this Atlanta Braves team, there is a big, huge youth movement. There's no doubt. And it almost kind of reminds me of our 2006 season that we had. We were all just a bunch of young punks. Maybe they don't really know what's going on right now. That's why they're just having fun playing. Yeah, there's a couple veteran guys in Freddie Freeman and Mark Hakis, But these young guys are, are the core, are, are the substance of that team. And if they continue to keep playing like this, man, wow. I mean, I think the Atlanta Braves might be here to stay. Yeah, and the Nationals, maybe, uh, they're playing better now. People thought they'd run away from the division. We'll see when the pressure amounts but Frank yeah, your comment too and, and Nick overall baseball if we look at the average age of current rosters in the game uh, each year it seems like they're getting younger and younger announced by at least 100 days or so and over time uh, the average age of uh, 29 and, and moving down I think some of it's by design and be honest I mean owners want younger talent so they're paying their money they're paying them from the age of 20 to 30 instead of 25 to 40 so uh, it's, a, it's a new day in baseball these kids are superior talented they're starting travel ball earlier they're spending a lot more time the Dominican players have been signed at 15 16 mm -hmm. so it's totally yep. changing the game forever but uh, you know I'm just concerned about the veteran movement here in the near future because it's gonna be tough to be a veteran in Major League Baseball unless you're a star yeah. and the young players have to keep producing otherwise the veterans will be brought back both the Phillies mm -hmm. and the Braves loaded with talented young players which right. Indians Cubs is better built for the postseason yeah I definitely think if, if the postseason started here in the next week uh, I definitely think the Cleveland Indians are set up better and I'll tell you why the starting rotation obviously you know about guys like Corey Kluber you know about guys like Carlos Carrasco this kid right here Trevor Bauer is doing it right now over the last four years his wins have gone up his ERA has gone down when he first got to the big league his rap was he was the smartest guy in the room and things have changed when you have a leader like Corey Kluber in that locker room helping guys man I'm telling you he is one of those guys that is slowly becoming one of the top 10 pitchers in the American League man his stuff is filthy he's gone off in the offseason and tried to do everything that Adam Ottavino did by buying the slow machines you know the uh, so he can video himself to try and find out how he can make some adjustments he's been tremendous so far and when you have that man as your number three you're feeling pretty good and what do you got on that, Frank? <laughs> well, that was, what you talking about, Willis? <laughs> that was a, quite a, a preamble to you're going to say Cubs. You know what? I'm going to say both teams are built for the playoffs. I think the Indians might have a tougher uphill battle because of their bullpen situation this year. You know, they, they really struggle in the bullpen. Their starters will have to pitch deeper into a lot of ball games this year. Come August, they could be a little tired. But the Cubs are well-rounded. They got great starters. They got great hitters. I think they've underachieved a little bit in this, the first seven weeks of the season. They will get it going, and I think they might be a better answer in the playoffs to the Cleveland Indians just because of their bullpen. Yeah, and you think those two divisions, too, the teams can afford to sleepwalk a little. I mean, Milwaukee's playing well, so the Cubs will have to play catch up, but the Indians are only a 500 team. Yeah, I mean, there's no the one in the AL Central right now over 500, so it just goes to show you they have an easy path to the playoffs right, right now. Hey, I'm telling you what, man, the, the Indians starting rotation is second in the league in ERA. No yeah. doubt in my mind, both but, of these teams have been in the playoffs. Yeah. And I'm just worried about how far they can go if they don't, some, if you don't fix that bullpen. Yeah. Because right. the Indians have had a lockdown bullpen in the last couple of years. I it's agree. not the same anymore. Yeah, yeah, Andrew Indians, Miller needs to step himself up a little bit. Yeah, statistically, the Indians have the worst bullpen in the league uh, at the moment. That's saying right. a lot. That's, yeah, it is, considering how great the rotation is.